Borderlands 2 has been rated M by the ESRB for blood and gore, intense violence, language, sexual themes, and drug use. It is intended for players age 18 and over. Okay, folks, we are back uh, in another session of Borderlands 2. Before we get too far into it, I wanted to explain why we're not in Tiny Tina's D&D game, Assaulting Dragon Keep. Um, I talked to a couple of friends of mine who have played the game, and I was like, geez, you know, did, doesn't it seem like Assault on Dragon's Keep is unusually difficult? And my friends were like, well, yeah, it is. And I'm like, okay, you sound like I should have expected it. And they were like, well, don't you know what this is? And I said, no, what is it? And they were both, well, this is, it, it's a, it's a co-op DLC. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, it's not designed to be soloed. It's designed to be played by a team. And so the devs made it overly difficult. They made it too difficult to be soloed, and they did it on purpose. And I'm like, okay, so there's no way I can finish this thing solo. And my, my, my one friend went, well, no, there is, there is. The thing is you have to be like max level, and your equipment has to be maximized. And, uh, you know, you basically have to have you know, godlike stats. And I said, well, I don't have that yet. And, uh, and my buddy was like, oh, well, in that case, you're screwed. <laughs> so the reason why we are not playing, um, the reason why we, we are not playing Tiny Tina's Wonderland is because, uh, uh, well... Um, I decided that I, you know, I play these games for the enjoyment of them. I do not play these games for frustration. And, uh, I was getting frustrated. So I decided, you know what? There's other missions I can play. And my friends were like, oh yeah, yeah, you're going to want to stop and do something else. Unless you can get a, 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 a group of players together. Which, right now, I can't. You know, it was like, if, if you can't find a co-op group, then you might as well not play it. So, I'm like, okay, that's fine. We'll do other things. Okay. Shoot the thief. Gee, Jim, you're awfully quick to start pointing fingers. All right. So they say somebody stole the money. And I have to figure out who the thief is. Okay, so. Sam stole the cash. Without question. After she and O'Cantler were done celebrating our successful heist, I saw her stuff the loot down her pants. Okay. Look, between you and me, O'Cantler's the thief. When we were making out, he was all, yeah, baby, I'm going to steal all that money. And I was like, no, don't do that. And he's like, oh, yeah, baby, I'm going to. And I was like, that's so wrong. Okay. Now, here's the conditions of... Here's the conditions of this, this mission. One of them's telling the truth. Three of them are lying. And I have to figure out who is telling the truth and who is lying. Okay. Lindy says it was Sam and O'Cantler. Sam says it was O'Cantler. Let's talk to O'Cantler. Sam's full of crap. Okay. O'Cantler says that Sam is full of crap, and it wasn't him. She says it was the two of them. Sam 
Sam's lying. Sam has to be lying. Lindy, on the other hand, says it was those two, but Sam's lying. But she's not lying about stealing the money. She's lying about Ucantler stealing the money. So if it's not Ucantler and it's not Sam, Yes. He had to have. He had to have. Because if Sam was lying about it being uh, O'Cantler. And she had to have been lying because of what Lindy said. That meant O'Cantler was telling the truth, which meant the other liar was Jim, so it had to have been Jim. Because Jim, the only thing he said was, I didn't steal the money. So it had to have been him. Logic. Okay, let's figure out what we're going to do next. All right. Found part of a treasure map. There's only one thing to do. Start killing bandits until you find the other parts of the map. Then assemble it and find the treasure. Admittedly, that was three things, but you get the idea. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, and we're back here. I'm fairly sure I'm all full, but it never hurts to double check. So can you.
What is this feeling? Uh, you know, could be a lot of things. Could be fear. Could be an impending sense of doom. Could be a need to go to the bathroom. guy was humming uh, uh, Ride of the Valkyries. That's funny. Excellent piece of music written by a complete and total fascist asshole. Well, he wasn't truly a fascist asshole. He was what we would call a proto-fascist. Um, because really he, you know, he, he didn't pre-exist fascism, but he certainly pre-existed, uh, uh, who is shooting me? Oh, hi. Jesus, I'm dying because of a... Um, anyway, where was I? Anyway, Wagner, he wasn't a, he wasn't a true fascist, but he was a proto-fascist. He believed in a lot of things that the fascists would eventually come to believe in, but there were a lot of other things that he just didn't, mostly because he was, um, he was, you know, he lived like a hundred years prior to modern fascism. So like I said, he was a proto-fascist. What's this? It must be below me. Um, but yeah, you know, and he wrote this fantastic opera. The opera is beautiful. Uh, the, the Die, Die Ring of, Die Ring I der, der Nibelung or something. I'm, I, my German is so rusty you can catch tetanus off of it. But basically, it's, uh, you know, better known as the Ring Cycle. It's Valkyries and dwarves and magic and tells the tale of Odin and his dealings with dwarves and, uh, uh you know. All kinds of neat shit. All from Norse mythology.
Well, that was fun. But the best known part of uh, the, the ring cycle is by far the Ride of the Valkyries. Which, of course, is the part that goes... And now I am out 